So we're going to move to uh, uh, the intraoperative uh, real-time ultrasound elastography of the pancreas, a method for visual palpation, uh, to be presented by uh, Dr. Christoph Maurer. Thank you, uh, at first, Sages, for uh, the opportunity to present uh, our work with the ultrasound and intraoperative elastography, um, in this case, for the pancreas. Next. Can I have the next slide, please? The, uh, oh. oh, okay. And you've got a monitor right there. Oh, perfect. So, um, for peri ampullary tumors, uh, we know that painless jaundice, symptoms of cholangitis, and uh, a double duct sign or the, the clinical uh, signs that indicates for this disease. The diagnostic sensitivity is about 66%. Um, with performing an abdominal ultrasound, endoscopic ultrasound, multi-slice CT, uh, MRI including uh, MR, uh, MRCP, ERCP and the uh, bile duct biopsy and also the tumor markers. In this case, um, we have a, a patient. She was first seen last year in summer, and she uh, had a painless jaundice. She has a recurrent cholangitis, and performing an uh, ERCP, as you see here, uh, also a CT scan and an MRI. No tumor was seen. Also, the tumor markers uh, were all normal. Endoscopic ultrasound was also normal, so we didn't find any tumor at all. And in November and December last year, she complained after uh, receiving a pigtail stand. Um, she, she had recurrent, recurrent pain, and uh, so... So we, we had to... Um, decide how to go on. I think we have some problems. Okay, and the bile duct biopsy uh, performed by the gastroenterologist was also uh, uh, showed no tumor. So we uh, talked with this patient, she was also a, a medical doctor, and we decided to perform uh, an explorative laparotomy. Now, uh, in this case, we used uh, the ultrasound. We use it since one year in every laparotomy we are performing. And um, this elastography is an ultrasound-based technique. It measures, as you see here, the compression of the tissue and the amplitude of compression reflects the stiffness. That means if you have tumor or something hard like scar, you see it reflects in a blue color. Red and yellow is a soft tissue and green is something intermediate. And this different amplitude are color coded. Now this is the intraoperative elastography of this patient. You see um, on the left hand side the elastogram uh, blue colored. In the circle, you can see up there, there was a reproducible blue spot that you saw in every uh, motion, in every picture we did. Uh, the other blue colored region was just once or twice seen. So we had to suppose that there is the tumor and so we performed uh, a whipple with uh, preserving the pylorus. The pathologist chose, uh, showed us afterwards that we had right, that the patient had 
a periampullary adenocarcinoma with a maximum uh, distance of uh, 13 millimeters. In conclusion, elastography is a novel diagnostic tool in surgery, improves the tissue differentiation, the strength of the tissue, it's real-time available and is available as a standard modality in modern ultrasound equip equipment. And it's also a tool for gastro, uh, gastroenterologists to perform it in the endoscopic way so that you can also see tumors less than five millimeters. Thank you very much. Open to questions from the floor. Yes. Amir Salt from Tel Aviv. Amir Salt from Tel Aviv, short question. Uh, pancreas, the problem with the identifying tumors in the pancreas is usually the fact that they cause a lot of desmoplastic reaction and it's very difficult to differentiate that and inflammation. Do you think that using elastography you'll be able to differentiate between scarring of inflammation and real tumors? That's in fact a problem. The difference between uh, a chronic pancreatitis and uh, tumors, uh, it's actually this problem is not solved. Um, in, in the, at this point, uh, we need further in investigations. But I think in, in this case, we had uh, so symptoms that could favor uh, be favorable for a tumor. But um, if you're not sure, it's, it's really it's very difficult to differentiate. That's the point. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank Interesting you. technology.